fastest way to have your child become a follower. Welcome to Richmond Martial Arts, the ultimate martial arts experience. We offer classes online and also at the studio. Hi, my name is Johnny Ammon from Richmond Martial Arts, and I want to talk about um, a topic which is either a follower or a leader. So obviously, all, all parents um, want our kids to become leaders, not followers, because followers just follow what people do. They don't make up their own mind. They just go, oh, he's wearing a red hat, I'm gonna wear a red hat. He's gonna jump off the bridge, I'm gonna jump the bridge, right? But a leader makes their own choices, and they also inspire people to do the right thing as well. But I'm gonna talk about, for this video, I'm gonna talk about things that if you don't want your child to be a leader, and you want them to remain a follower, then do these things. Number one is be a helicopter parent. So what's a helicopter parent? Basically a parent, you kind of hover around your child. So you're always there for them. They fall down, you pick them up. Um, if they're getting bullied, you speak up for them. Um, you, you, know, you cut their food for them. Basically, you're hovering around them the whole time. They're not able to adapt to the world. They're, they're just used to you always saving them. So definitely, if you want your child to remain a follower, yeah, then be a helicopter parent. Another way, if you want your child to remain a follower, is when they're ever getting bullied at school, um, instead of teaching them how to confront the bully, like how we do in martial arts, just go up and make a big scene. Go to the principal, the school teacher, go to the parent of the child, and just make a big scene, and then just do everything yourself. And don't let your child uh, be able to diffuse the situation on their own by using their words. Another way where you, if you want to keep your child a follower, is give them uh, money or, or toys or prizes or anything uh, without them earning it. So just anytime they want something, just give it to them, but don't make them earn it by actually um, doing hard work, which will actually is gonna obviously help them when they're older. They're gonna, they're gonna realize, oh, if I want something, I gotta work hard to get that, achieve that, okay? But yeah, if you wanna keep them a follower, then yeah, just give them what they want. Another way if you want your child to remain a follower is, if for example, say they fall down, they fail or they quit, um, right away, be there to help them up. Um, don't let them learn on their own why they failed, why they fell, and how do, you, how do they get up and keep going. Another way if you want to keep your child a follower is, don't enroll them in activities where the activity actually builds self-confidence, discipline, um, uh, and um, perseverance. So, be like martial arts, for example. If you put your child in martial arts, they are gonna be a leader, for sure. Here in my school, all the kids who progress up in ranks, once they get to black belt, they are leaders here. So they're helping out. Uh, a lot of them have actually part-time jobs here. So instead of working at McDonald's, they're working here at a respectable place where actually they're giving back to the community and they're building future leaders. So definitely, if you want your child to be a follower, don't enroll them in martial arts. So thank you for watching this video, and for more tips like this, keep watching this channel.